Hey, what's up YouTube? You're watching Ready, Set, Drone. And today we're gonna to talk about LiPo batteries, both LiPos for racing quads, uh, cars, and other hobby things, and then also DJI LiPos and how you can safely store them. So stay tuned. So first of all, if you're new to the channel, I hope you'll hit the subscribe button so that you can get more great content about drones and other RC hobby stuff. Uh, what I wanna talk about today is how to store LiPo batteries. Now, this is a Tattoo 4 cell, um, that's a 4S, 1300 milliamp hour battery. And this is used in a racing quad. It can also be used in cars. It can be used in anything that takes a 4S and uses this XT60 connector, which is what this, this yellow guy is right here. Now, if you're gonna store this for a long period of time, let's say you're not gonna fly for a week or two or longer, what you wanna do is using your uh, smart charger, you wanna go ahead and find the mode. Uh, you can see right now it's on LiPo charge. What I wanna do is move it to LiPo storage. And that was LiPo balance, fast charge, and storage. So that's great if you want to store your uh, hobby grade LiPo battery, but what if you want to store a DJI battery? Well, let's set this aside for a second. If you wanna store a DJI battery, this is a battery for the Mavic Air. This is a battery for the Mavic 2. Uh, it works in both the Mavic 2 Pro and the Mavic 2 Zoom right here. And let's say you wanna store it for a period of time. You're not gonna be flying for a while, or let's say that you were on a trip and you fully charged these, this has happened to me before, you fully charge these with the intent of flying, then the weather is bad, and then you have to fly out the next day. Well, you don't wanna fly with fully charged LiPo batteries. That's just a bad idea. The energy in these things is explosive. It doesn't mean they're going to explode, but you're much better off flying with batteries that are optimized for storage than you are flying, for bat flying with batteries that are fully charged because they're gonna be less volatile. So if you've drained them already and you're gonna fly with them and you're gonna recharge them when you get home a day later, then that's probably not a big deal. I don't know, give me comments if you think it is. But if you are planning to uh, fly with them and then put them in storage after you've flown, you probably wanna get them down to that optimal storage, which again is about 60%. And that is where this product comes in. This is called the Phantom Angel. Now, I've actually already used this, but I thought I would go ahead and open it so that you could see what is in it and kind of have that unboxing experience. So it comes with this glove, and the purpose of this glove is so that you can put this uh, light bulb, which is a halogen light bulb, onto it. This is actually what dissipates the energy, actually uses the energy by lighting this up. It comes with connectors that you ordered. So right now, I have connectors for both the uh, Mavic 2 and the Mavic Air, batteries, you can see they're slightly different. Well, they're quite a bit different actually, but they both have this XT60 connector on the other side. Now that has nothing to do with those other batteries. It's just a standard format. The build on these things is great. It's all uh, heat shrunk. The connector is very solid feeling. You're not gonna pull it off accidentally. Um, it just feels like it's really solidly made. By the way, these are not made by a company. These are made by one guy named Alex who sent this to me to, to check out. And I was just super impressed with how well built this thing is for your DJI batteries. So your light bulb, and the reason they send you the glove is because you don't wanna to touch this light bulb with your bare hands. The reason is halogen bulbs, while they dissipate a lot of energy, they also get really hot and they can actually explode if you get the oil of your finger on them or they can puff up and be useless. So you wanna make sure that as you are handling this bulb, you're using the glove so that you don't get your fingers oils on the glove. So what are the reasons you would want to use this? Well, first of all, there's a thing called deep cycling, which basically means that you're going to drain this thing all the way down and then bring it back up to the appropriate uh, storage amount of um, capacity, about 60%. And that is really good for the cells versus either running it all the way down and leaving it down or leaving it overcharged for a long period of time. You really wanna use this deep cycling as a way to, to take care of the batteries and make them last longer. Number two is that ability to do that quick discharge. If you are done with your flight and you're about to get on an airplane and you need to carry this into the cabin, you don't want full batteries. So um, DJI does have the ability with these smart batteries to actually uh, dissipate them over time. You can set it up in the app to do it over a couple of days or up to, I think, 10 days. It'll dissipate them down to a storage uh, level, which is great because that allows you to uh, 
kind of forget about them, but if you want to drop them down to storage level right away or do a deep cycle on them, uh, this is the device for you. So here is the Phantom Angel, also known as the Mavic Angel in this case. It is made, I believe, of aluminum. It's very uh, lightweight, but metal, so it feels like it's really solidly made. And it's got two switches back here on the back. It's got one that says uh, cycle and store. So cycle is gonna be your deep cycle to take it all the way down and then back up. Store is going to be uh, putting it into storage mode. And in this case, it has uh, Air and M2 or Mavic 2 uh, labeled here on the back so that you can tell which one you're supposed to be in. So now it's pretty simple to operate once you get it all out. You go ahead and put the light bulb in. And again, being careful not to uh, touch it with your fingers. So I'm going to put this glove on. There we go. And uh, don't force it, but there is a way that it slips in there pretty easily. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our Mavic uh, Air, the original Mavic Air battery, which right now is sitting at probably at about 60% for storage, which is a good place, and I'm going to cycle it. So I'm going to take the connector, put it on the appropriate way, plug this in here, switch it to cycle and to air. One important thing, this won't work if the battery is turned off, so you want to make sure to uh, actually activate the battery. Now the battery is activated, and now when I turn it on, the light goes on, and it's basically going to cycle this down to a very, very low amount of volts. This does not charge your battery, by the way. This only dissipates it. So, so you've still got to use your regular charger with it. But right now I am uh, running this thing down through the cycle mode, flipped with the flipped over to air and to cycle. So I'm going to take a look at what time it is right now. It's 11.40, and we'll see how long it takes for it to, uh, to run down to the cycle. So a couple more quick things that are here in the notes. It says, never cover up the angel, which makes sense. You don't want to uh, have anything touching it or on top of it while it's doing this uh, because A, it's bad for the bulb and B, this stuff gets hot. And number two, be careful what you touch. You don't want to touch the heat sink while it's discharging because that heat sink also gets very hot uh, while it's discharging. And then finally, um, treat the bulb with care. As was noted before, you don't want to get your oil of your hand or anything on that bulb or it could cause it to swell up and uh, break. Now, we started at 11.40, it's 11.43, and you can see now that the third light is no longer blinking, so it's actually um, drained some of the power uh, out of it. And we'll see how long it takes for this second light to start blinking and then to finally go out. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes and we're down to one dot on the Mavic Air battery, and that one dot is now blinking. So, curious to see what happens when it gets all the way down. Land, land, land. Time to land. I will say too, if you get one of these, don't stare at the light. I find myself looking at it, and it is very bright, uh, and it kind of gives you spots in your eyes if you look at it too much. So. Uh, resist the temptation to stare at it. And while this is finishing up, I do want to just say a couple of other quick things about this thing. Again, it's not made by a company. It's made by one guy uh, who seems to have put a lot of time, effort, and love into this thing because it's, it's not only uh, functional, but it's very well made. It's very cool looking. Um, it, he has a little graphic of the wings for the Phantom Angel or Mavic Angel on the box. Also, there's a graphic of it on the uh, device itself. The device is very clean, very uh, professionally put together, and just looks like something. Oh, there goes the light. It just went out. So our time was 21 minutes. And as I said, this battery was set at 60%-ish. Um, it was like two full lights and a blinking light when I put it on here. So I had stored it at the right amount. But if you're looking to discharge it faster and do a deep cycle on it, like I just did for battery maintenance, that's great, 20 minutes on here and it's down to basically zero at this point. So now I'm gonna plug it back in and charge it back up to a full charge. And then after I do that, I'm going to actually put it back on here and cycle it down to storage so that it's in the optimal setting and it's been through that entire uh, cycle. Now I do think this deep cycling 
uh, allows your batteries to have a longer shelf life and to maintain their usefulness for a longer period of time. Because what you're doing is you're kind of telling the battery, this is what full looks like, this is what empty looks like, and you're gonna play in this range in between. Okay, so what I have here is a Mavic 2 battery that has been on the charger. It is 100% charged. So what I'm gonna do now is take this cable off and put on the Mavic 2 cable right here using the XT60 connector. And you never wanna pull these cables by the cable if you can avoid it. You really wanna grab the connector if you can. And then I'm going to plug this end into here and I'm going to switch it to storage and uh, M2, which is the Mavic 2. Looks like it's all connected. So what this should do is it should knock it down from this full charge to a storage charge, which should be uh, about 60%. So it get, should give us two solid lights and then one blinking light when it stops. So I'll go ahead and, uh, oh, first you have to turn on the battery. Don't forget to do that. So the battery's on. Go ahead and turn that on. And the time is 1218. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this uh, go until it stops. Okay, so the light just went out seconds ago. And now this is sitting at uh, two solids and one blinking. So I'd say 60%. So that's right where it needs to be for storage. And it took about 15 minutes. It went from 1218 to 1233. So if I'm doing my math right, that's 15 minutes. Pretty good. Uh, took it down from a full charge to 60% and ready to be stored in 15 minutes. So I guess when it's done, one other thing you wanna make sure to do is just turn that battery off so that it's not running anymore. So I'll set that over here. And I just wanna say, uh, nice job, Alex. This thing is very, very cool, very well made. It uh, really seems to do the job as far as dissipating the battery to a, either a deep cycle charge or a storage charge. I like the fact that it's got multiple options for both um, uh, cycling, storage, and two different types of batteries. I'm not sure of all the drones and batteries that this thing supports, aside from the Phantom, the Mavic Air, and the Mavic 2, but I'm gonna guess that it probably does some others if you uh, request it. I bet Alex can make it for you. So I'll put all the information below for Phantom Angel and how you can uh, connect with Alex to order one or ask questions of him. There's a lot of information on his website. I'm not getting paid to do this at all, but I will say in all honesty, I do like the build of this. I do like what it does, and I'm looking forward to having it so that I can uh, take better care of my DJI batteries. If you like this video, I hope you will uh, comment below and give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna know more about drones and drone uh, stuff like this, please subscribe to Ready Set Drone. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.